The School of Electrical and Computer Engineering hosts open lab nights once a semester, and Wednesday night it was host to 150 curious students and engineers in Coover Hall. Vicki Thorland-Oster is the student services manager for the school and helps students make better choices about their engineering futures. What we do is we include the students who are our first year students and so they can get in, see what the labs are, see what the research is that's being done in the university or in, in our department. Students are able to tour the facility browsing different possible departments and opportunities that professors and grad students have set up to discover what they might be interested in in electrical and computer engineering. The open lab nights also serve as an exhibit for the ECPE school and 11 labs were open Wednesday. From learning about building iPhone apps to high-intensity ultrasound labs and every type of robot in between, the laboratories were high-tech havens for students to check out. While nanotechnology might sound complex, some projects were designed to interest even the not-so-engineeringly inclined student. Matt Griffith is a master's student and was showing off an omnidirectional robot. This, this project in general is, is kind of interesting because it combines some computer engineering, some software writing code, with um, more theoretical electrical engineering and also hardware aspects too. So it brings them together, which is unique. The school student services promotes the event every semester on the engineering website and around campus. And with cookie and t-shirt incentives and the cool opportunity to get up close and personal with robots and the future of technology, Iowa State students and Ames residents alike flock to Coover Hall. For more information on open lab nights around campus, visit engineering.iastate.edu. For iState State News, I'm Chris Cuellar with David Durant.